Back here, Block Show Singapore 2019. We're killing it right now. You can't imagine the innovation, the, the ideas, the people that are behind the scenes. You need to get yourself here, man. It's, it's for any leader, any technologist, an entrepreneur, this is where you should be. Right now, I'm here with Nicholas from Ubisoft. I will try to do a horrible French pronunciation. Nicholas Pouard. That's great. That's I want to say the American way, Nicholas Pod, but it's not going to work out so well. Thank you so much for joining us, Nicholas. Say hi to the DLive Nation right now. And um, can you tell them a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, of course. So uh, I joined Ubisoft five years ago, and before that, I was a philosophy teacher. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Now, <laughs> this is, we really have to stop for a second. You were a philosophy teacher for yeah. 10 years yeah, or so? Yeah, 10 years, yeah. Okay. What, tell me about this transformation, this shift. Why? Why? So first, I was very into technology. I was kind of a geek. I yeah. always been a player. So uh, all kind of games. Actually, I was playing video games, but also uh, RPG, uh, mm. table, tabletop RPG, uh, board games, etc. Et so I was a gamer. I was a geek. I was a fan of technology. And I had the opportunity to join the Strategic Innovation Lab at Ubisoft. All right. Uh, working on, not on technology actually, more on uh, open world consistency. You know, the games, they are huge open world today. Okay. Uh, and we have to, we had at the time to make sure that all of this stuff was uh, consistent. So was and it blockchain that yeah, attracted was you the blockchain. to it? So the, the Ubisoft Strategic Innovation Lab, um, it's focusing on the future. Uh, we are trying to understand what are the new trends, what will uh, be really transformative for our own industry and even beyond our industry. Okay. And so two, I think two years ago or even a bit more, um, I was exploring new, new technology, AI of course, uh, augmented reality mm -hmm. and blockchain. And we were like, ah, what can we do? In the gaming, can, can we improve the gaming industry with blockchain? Mm -hmm. We heard some stuff. There was some project. It was uh, before CryptoKitties, actually. Okay. And we were, OK, we wait and see. And we, at the Strategic Innovation Lab, we have a startup program called the Entrepreneurs Lab. Actually, okay. we have a, um, a part of the program here in Singapore also, right. Paris and Singapore. Okay. Is it entrepreneurslab.io, or how can the people get to? How can the people know more information about on the, that? On the corporate website of okay, Ubisoft. Okay, corporate website, yeah, yeah. Ubisoft. So, okay. Entrepreneurs Lab, and, right. and you will find that we worked with, uh, so in 2017, we worked with uh, our first uh, blockchain startup called uh, Beyond the Void. Okay. And they, a bit to expand, and they developed a game called Beyond the Void, All and right. it was a good way for us to to learn, to just see how it, how it was going on mm -hmm. blockchain and games. And then we did the second season of the program, and we host something like three or four uh, blockchain startup. And now we are the third season, and we work with uh, seven startup working on blockchain and games or around the gaming industry. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the gaming yeah. industry is really hot right now yeah. with blockchain. Yeah. The potential. Let's take a look at. I mean, we're here right now, and I think the gaming community. Uh, the leaders there, they're looking at a totally different immersive world five, ten years out. What should we look forward to? What are we, you, guys are, you guys are deep in the lab right now, working yeah. on exciting stuff. What can you dish out to me right now that we should look out for in the future? Uh, actually, there is a lot of uh, different dimensions here. Uh, the, I think as everyone in the field, we are really interested into a non-fungible token uh, and how we can link it to uh, to our uh, digital assets, traditional digital assets. Right. So uh, some people forge the name uh, true ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, that's the way we, we call it when we want to say that it's a new way for users to own uh, mm -hmm. their uh, digital assets. Okay. You know? uh, so it's very interesting because if you follow a little bit what is happening in, in the gaming industry, there is games like uh, uh, massive games like Fortnite, for instance, and they did really well without they do really well without blockchain. Right. So why blockchain here? Right. What we are seeing is that gamers are investing a lot of time and money in games, mm -hmm. and maybe we are opening a little 
new kind of economics in this whole field, um, allowing players to earn something back okay. from their investment. So that's one dimension. We are looking at it, understanding how we could use it in our own games. Uh, it's not easy because mm -hmm. uh, it's much easier to build a blockchain uh, games using blockchain from scratch right, right. Uh, than just trying to pull that put integration must into be oof, very difficult. Oof, yeah. oof, painful. Um, yeah. And there is also, but that's more uh, three, five year vision. Uh, the interoperability thing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ready Player One. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that seems to be that's that seems to be almost I don't want to use, but the holy grail of yeah. what needs to be developed right now. And actually, I don't know if if it will happen one day. It's not. You know, it's, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Do you think so? Do you think in ten years we could see, or five uh, years? No, no, even longer more than, than that. that. Longer than that. Really? Because it's very difficult to build standards and here. In a way, blockchain can be the first layer of a kind of a standard infrastructure, standardized infrastructure to be this kind of thing, but then you have some thing. If you're not in the gaming industry, you don't know that, but right. we don't use the same uh, uh, graphic standards for, exactly. for our assets. We don't right. use the same gaming engine, the same uh, middleware, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Hmm. So we have to standardize all these things, and it's very difficult to do. Uh, everybody wants to have it to their own standards, yeah, make their exactly, own. Yeah, exactly. Maybe this is the time. I mean, you would think the gaming industry would play nicely with one another. <laughs> you, would, you would think so. I think if an industry can do that, it could be ours. It could be the gaming industry. So I'm not be. sure that banks, real estate, they could do that. I don't know. I'm I don't know. tell I don't you something to... interesting. They, they are starting to. They're starting because to. everything is, has to be so transparent yeah. and you need efficiencies, yeah. right? And, and you're looking at the bottom line. So folks are starting to, to understand yeah. that we need to streamline things and work and play nice Because together. they have something in common, exactly. currency. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so we have entertainment. And I wonder if entertainment and the cross-platform yeah. interest exactly. will that's, be, will that's, be that's enough. That's a way. That's right. a way. That's right. a way. But it's difficult to say. I can't okay. say so much about that. What, so. what can you talk about right now that'll happen in the next uh, year? I'll see you again in another year, yeah. whether it's here or Malta. And what are you excited that this is going to happen in the next year? In the next year. In, in gaming and in blockchain, and they don't have to be uh, separate. Yeah, there is something that I'm very interested in. It's uh, the way uh, um, social media I'm going to social media. Okay, let's do it. And I, I will do it. So <laughs> bring it's it right a back. walk around, but I, I will go. <laughs> so, social media, they are very interested in blockchain because they see that they can find some new, new things out of um, uh, uh, social currency or, you know, they, they don't know exactly what, but, but they so see it. They see it. Right. They have a huge community. They, and we know that if we want a massive adoption of blockchain, we have to have a community. So. Right. So they are looking into, um, into blockchain. Mm. Big blockchain protocols like EOS, uh, for instance, yes. or uh, Steemit in a way. Uh, they also are looking at social media mm -hmm. because they say, hey, we are a protocol and we need a community. So, but they ah. don't really know how to build a community because it's not their, their, their background. Right. So they are also trying to, to find a way to, to mix both. Mm. And in between there is the gaming industry. We have the technology skills mm -hmm. and we have the community. Right. So we know that we have something to, to, to do here right. because we're in the middle. And you have a very so, unique position. Gamers, yeah. the gaming community has a very unique position in the technology consumer facing product. Exactly, exactly. Huh. And so we are, oh, what we are really looking into is how to help our user players to become more stakeholders like stakeholders okay. you know because they play our games so they share some kind of value mm -hmm. and different level of value emotional value economical value social value there is a lot of uh, non-tangible uh, very right, tangible right. value here and blockchain can help us to to make it more concrete mm -hmm. uh, tradable shareable etc et so that's something i Hope we will see in the coming year. Mm. Uh, maybe not from Ubisoft, but yesterday I was in a panel with uh, um, uh, John Linden from uh, Mythical Games. Mm. Yep. And I spoke with him earlier. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very nice guy. <laughs> yeah, they are doing uh, amazing <laughs> stuff. 
And I don't know if the, their game will, uh, will be released next year. I don't, think so. right. I don't know. I don't know. It's not my time. <laughs> he but even said I was supposed to do it this year. It's going yeah, to yeah, next okay, year. Okay, okay. So you know more than me. Yeah. Um, but he was saying, yeah, he was saying that in his opinion, next year we will see the first um, million users on a gaming using blockchain. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite close to this opinion. I, I think it's possible, again, because we, we have the community and so we can just put some a uh, glimpse of, of, uh, of uh, blockchain and some oh, features of blockchain on the game. This. So we'll see, we'll see people I'm, do that next year. I'm, I'm loving sure. this. If we can get this nice consortium of the gaming community together to play nice in a box, we can build it. We can build it. We can, we can, and, and it'll be something the world is, they've only imagined in their wildest dreams. Yeah. So I look forward to hearing announcements of the community, the gaming community getting it together. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, for oh, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. It was very quick. Yes. <laughs>